three children, she learned at an early age invaluable lessons about leadership, communication, and mentoring that she has applied throughout her life. Today, in her Project 2 speech, she will be sharing with us several of these lessons. Her speech is entitled, Toastmasters 001. Here, Joe. <laughs> nodding and chuckling along when somebody does something particularly, some silly little habit. One of my favorite movies is When Harry Met Sally. You know this one? Well, I have some favorite scenes in that movie, and no, not the one where they're eating it. <laughs> the scene that I want to talk about that, that relates to my speech today is the one where Harry says how he always reads the last page of the book first. Where he opens up the book and turns to the back to read the ending, and then he can read the book. He wants to know how it ends. Well, today I'm going to tell part of my ending first. Today I have a wonderful, close relationship with my sister Sharon. She is a veritable friend. Part of that relationship is helping and supporting each other with our professional skills, such as public speaking. The title of my speech today is Toastmasters 001. This is my story of several of the lessons that I learned from my siblings about leadership, communication, and mentoring. To set the stage and give you the context of my childhood, I want you to picture a middle-class Jewish home, 1950s, Staten Island, New York. My father worked Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., while mom stayed at home to raise and take care of me, the oldest, my sister Sharon, who's two years younger, and my brother Larry, who's six years younger than I am. My two siblings provided the training ground for my leadership, communication, and mentoring skills. Leadership skills. Anyone else here the oldest? As the oldest, one of the leadership techniques that came naturally to me was delegating. <laughs> Getting tasks done with the help of others. Delegating is considered to be a crucial business skill. Business tips that I read online yesterday about delegating effectively advise us to first assess everyone's skills, assign jobs um, that people might enjoy doing, clearly articulate what needs to be done, and give somebody a pat on the back for a job well done. <laughs> In my family, when I was delegating to my sister and brother, I just naturally seemed to use these proven guidelines. I would often tell Sharon and Larry what to do. <laughs> and of course, delegating was a given if it was an unpleasant task or something that I, we were supposed to do right away and I didn't want to. Hey Larry, Dad said for you to take out the garbage. Now. <laughs> well, I did assess his skills clearly. I did articulate what needed to be done and the time frame for completion. <laughs> Communication skills. In Toastmasters, one of the projects that we work on is using our speaking voice. From an early age, I learned about communicating with volume. Picture this, mom and I are in the kitchen. She says, tell your sister to come on down for dinner. My sister's upstairs in her bed, probably with the door closed. Well, I'm efficient, well, or lazy, 
but vigorous then in voice, although not in movement. So I would shout, Sharon! <laughs> Dinner! <laughs> Although over the years I must have unlearned that particular skill because Bob, my mentor, has commented that I need to focus on the volume of my speaking voice. <laughs> so I look forward to Project 6 when I do vocal variety. <laughs> Mentoring skills. As the oldest, I felt an obligation to mentor my younger siblings. I wanted to teach them the ropes. When I was in my teens, one of the things that I loved doing was going into Manhattan on a Saturday. And that was quite a thing to do from where I lived on Staten Island because it meant taking a bus to the ferry, then the Staten Island Ferry, and then a subway or, 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 or walk to wherever it was you were going. One Saturday afternoon, I invited my brother Larry to accompany me. I was very excited that I would get a chance to make a contribution to his cultural education. I wanted him to have a special experience, so that day we took the bus uptown instead of the subway. We were going to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I thought we had a wonderful day, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time with Larry. At the end of the day, I, I asked him what he enjoyed most. I mean, we had seen all this beautiful art at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. He was very enthusiastic when he told me that the best part was being on the bus and the different shapes of the street lamps. <laughs> but, but I didn't mentor anyone again for a very, very long time. <laughs> this speech is Toastmaster 001. Giving you the ending first, my next speech about my journey in developing my Toastmasters leadership communication and mentoring skills will be called Toastmasters 101. Ah. In concluding, I invite you to reflect on how your relationship with your siblings has played a role, perhaps a significant one, in developing your Toastmaster skills. Thank you, Mr. Thank you.